Hi guys and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about what I call top spin putting. The idea with this is that as soon as we hit the putt, we wanna get our ball rolling end over end so it just scoots across the ground. It doesn't have any hopping or jumping from left to right. The best putters in the world are gonna get a really good roll on the ball when they do this. A lot of times you'll find yourself when you're putting poorly, you're hitting down into the ball or you're hitting up into the ball too much and that's getting the ball hopping on the green and every time the ball slams down in the green it's going to kick right or kick left and it's going to knock it offline so we want that really nice smooth roll as we're putting really good there's a couple things we're going to do to, to make this happen number one we're going to take a little loft off the putter so if i come in here close to the camera and i show you the ball and the logo of the ball you can see here I'm gonna have a little forward shaft lean with my putter, and that's gonna take the loft of the putter and it's gonna make it a little bit less. So you can imagine there's an angle going down from the loft of the putter. I'm also gonna be hitting this ball on the rise, so my, my putter face is moving up as far as the path. Now, since I have less loft and an upward path, those two different angles are gonna make some top spin. So you can imagine if this ball, look at the logo as I'm hitting, I'm exaggerating here, it's not nearly this, this exaggerated when you're hitting a putt, but you can see how that's gonna get the logo of the ball rolling end over end. We also have a bit of an arc as we're putting. So as I'm swinging back and through, my putter is gonna naturally come on a little bit of an arc, and that's gonna release the face to help you get a good roll as we're doing that. So as I'm coming through the ball, my face is gonna be closing and allowing that to get even easier, more easily get topspin. This is what people often refer to as releasing the putter. So you can imagine this, just like if we're hitting a topspin forehand in tennis. The, the, the tip of the racket's releasing and we're getting that top spin. The, the tip of the putter or the toe of the putter is releasing and we're gonna get a little top spin on that. So now let's go ahead, let's try a few of these out. Let that putter release, get some nice top spin and you're gonna get a great roll on the ball. Get some good top spin, you're gonna roll the ball better, you're gonna make more putts. All right guys, so now that we're draining some more putts, the perfect thing to pair up with that is to create some more lag and start crushing the ball. If we can hit the ball really far and we can make a lot of putts, we're gonna shoot some really good scores, make a lot of birdies and have a lot of fun on the course. So I'm gonna play a preview of a lag video here in a second. You can watch that by clicking the link that pops up on your screen or down below in the description if you're on a mobile device. Pick up some more lag and find out your number one lag mistake. I'll see you all in the lag video. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see and in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we want to do is throughout the swing, I want to have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not going to set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, look at Tiger Woods. All these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. I want to use the full length of this club to build lag and then release lag. 